Okay, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I am working on the second video. Please keep asking me because it'll make me keep working on it. Um, but the bad news is they take me a really, really long time to make. Now part of that is just because I'm really garbage at making them. I have to film everything about 13 times before I'm, well, I'm never happy with it. I have to film it about 13 times before it is, before I get frustrated enough that it'll do. Um, it probably took me about 30 to 40 hours realistically editing the last one. Again, just because I'm garbage at using the programs. So hopefully, you know, with time, I'll get better with that and it won't take me so long to make stuff. So, um, yeah, they'll be coming, they'll just be slow. Um, for anybody who doesn't know me in real life, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, um, my name's Dean. Uh, I'm studying a doctorate of veterinary medicine at university. Um, I'm just in first year, so don't ask me about your dog's pancreas because I don't know. Um, so yeah, that keeps me pretty busy, as you can imagine. Um, so I really don't get a lot of time to actually sit down and think about making these videos, which is sad because I had so much fun doing it. Um, but I'm going to keep doing them because I really liked it, but they'll just take some time. I'm going away on a sheep placement in a couple days time. Um, so I'm going out to a property out west. Pretty sure there will be no internet there, which wouldn't really matter because I wouldn't have time to do anything with this. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be on that property for about a week. Then when I come back, I'm going to be doing another placement um, with the horses of the New South Wales Mounted Police. I'll be there for a week. Uh, basically, moral of the story is I'm not going to be here for a while. And I didn't want it to be like two months between me releasing videos. So I thought, no, I'm doing fish stuff today. So just some stuff I had to do, not for the video. Um, I'll just grab my phone and I'll record some of it and make some kind of thing, which you're now maybe someone watching. I, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So I thought I'd just grab my phone, really simple video, something I can just throw together. Um, probably not going to be very interesting, just like I'm probably not very interesting. Um... I say um a lot. You know this this is this is gonna help me with it. This is my pledge to I will stop saying um so much, which will help me in my professional life as well. So instead, get ready for awkward pauses. So not um 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 um. um so um fudge. Did it again? Fudge. I said fudge. Hmm. But I also went and got new fish, which is uh. Always fun. This is going to surprise nobody, but I, I love going to fish stores. It's it's not like going to, I, I don't know, like a hardware store or a clothes store where I hate shopping for clothes. So bad analogy. But for people who like going shopping for clothes at clothes stores, you know, you can look up their catalog online and you'll see what they sell. And then you'll go into the store and you'll see the stuff they sell. This is a great explanation. Whereas when you go to an aquarium, there's no regular stock list. It's always a surprise what's going to come in each week. Um, some weeks, you know, there might not be very much that you're interested in. Other weeks, kind of like this week, there's just so much that you're interested in that you don't know where to start. So I whipped out my phone, um, record a couple, recorded a couple things, and, uh, you know, Wanted to get some fish. Again, being a student, I, I don't I don't have a lot of money. I just I just don't. Um, so it makes buying fish without money problematic. Anyway, you don't care about this. I I don't even care about this. Why why should you? So <clears throat> found all these fish that I liked. I just went in there to get fish food. Um, honest. I don't believe that. Neither do you. Went in to buy fish food, found a whole bunch of fish that I liked, so what did I do? Uh, I don't need them. 
I don't need the water. That that's not what you think. That's, that's it, look. It, it's ju it's just fish food. It's 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 just fish food. That 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 one. That 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 one too. Still not what you think. It's exactly what you think. I brought them home. I recorded a little section before of me putting them into the tank, and it gives you a little look at my quarantine. If you don't know, like the th stuff I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be in videos later on. Proper videos, not like this one. And uh, I'll run you through everything um, in a much nicer way. But yeah, it turned out to be a lot more tutorial-ish than I originally planned. But that's not really a bad thing. It might just make it dreadfully boring. Hmm. But if you're watching this, you're probably into that. So yeah, I will play that and uh, see you back here. Yeah, it, it should be playing now. I'll just let me just. Go. Okay, so let's see what I've got here in my bag of goodies. So first up, we have a nice little love experience. Now all of these guys are going to look a little bit pale because they're a bit stressed in the bags, as I'm sure you would be if you were in a giant bag with a big ugly thing like me looking at you. But he's still really pretty, don't you think? Once they go in the tank, they should be fine. Once they calm down a little bit, they'll color back up. Once they feel a little bit safer. So up next, we have a scarlet headed fairy wrasse, another fairy wrasse like the Lobix. So you'll start to see a little bit of a theme here eventually. Um, so these guys are also really cool. He's pretty big for a scarlet Ruby. head. But yeah, also again, lost a bit of his color, but he should color back up really nicely pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about him. And last, but definitely not least, is something I've actually never come across before in a store and I really wanted him so I had to have him well like I didn't have to have him but you know is a filamentous fairy wrasse um, he'll have really bright yellow fins and this great sort of spine coming up off of his dorsal fin once he's nice and happy um, so yeah I'm really excited about this guy Normally I wouldn't be able to afford the fish that I got today, but I've been going to this store for a long time. I, I could spend all day there. Anyway, I, I, I know the owner there. I know pretty much all of the staff or all the staff that have been there for a long time. I genuinely enjoy talking to them. They're really cool guys. Um, but yeah, the only reason I could afford these fish is because Dave from Aquaristic, you know, he gave me a great deal on it. So thanks Dave. You enable me in the best possible way. So yeah, really excited to have the new fish in quarantine. They'll be there for about four weeks, assuming no diseases crop up, which would be bad. After that four week period, they will be ready to go to the main tank, which interestingly enough, is not at my home. Interestingly or tragically, I, I desperately miss having my tank at home, but that that's, that's a whole nother story and we'll go into it. Anyway, this is this has been kind of fun for me at least. So I don't know if if people like them, I'll probably keep doing. It. I'll probably you know try to make them more interesting and actually record them as I'm talking. It helped me to put out content a little bit more regularly. I, I content. I I hate talking like I'm a YouTuber. 
just just a guy with a camera and some fish. A lot of fish. There's quite a lot of fish. But yeah, just uh, I I don't know. It, this is just fun for me. I just enjoy this. And you know, if anybody else enjoys this, great. If you don't, then I'm not really sure what you're doing here still. But I mean, feel free to stay. I'd, I'd get you some chips, but the internet doesn't really work like that. Anyway, this has been fun, and I will see you next time. Maybe with a proper video, maybe with more of these. We will see. Question mark.